Now, the robot mode just has a, a plethora of other problems with it. The biggest of all being the huge amount of negative space around his head. I mean, his head is just basically floating there. And I don't know why they couldn't figure out a way to fill in all that space with, you know, more detail or something. It just, it doesn't look right and it really makes the figure look unfinished and just unprofessional. You know, people in their reviews pointed this out and they did point that out as a, as a major flaw. But, you know, that in, that in and of itself would make me not want to buy the figure. So I still don't see how people could, you know, give it the stamp of approval. Um, the other thing I didn't like was, or is his legs. His legs are very skinny, and if you looked at the concept art or you looked at his character in the game, then you'll notice he's got, like, kind of thick, you know, weighty leg, weighty looking legs, and, you know, the, you know, I know they, I know they, they made the legs simplified and skinny so that it would work better with the transformation, but, I feel like they just they look really bad and you know not only are they skinny but they're short and so his arms are like like his upper torso everything from his from his you know torso up looks in proportion but then you get to the legs and his legs look they look short and they kind of give him this gorilla this gorilla-ish look another thing about the legs that was also pointed out in some reviews is that you can't get a whole lot of range of motion as far as trying to point his toes outward or inward because of restrictions of because of the plastic restrictions on where the ball joint of his pelvis goes into his thigh and that's basically because there's no thigh swivel joint or whatsoever or thigh swivel um on on his legs um that would have cleared that problem up easily so some people also posted you know videos on how to fix this which you know you're basically going to take a fresh exacto blade and kind of just you know um, carefully shave off um, parts of the inner thigh at the top of the inner thigh um, on both the front and the back of the leg in order to get more range of motion to point his toes inward and outward but you know, I'm not going to do that because I honestly don't care about this figure enough to do that, to want to get more posability out of it. You know, like I said, once I'm done with this review, I'm going to transform him back into vehicle mode and I'm never going to um, play with it again. Then they also, they also tried to imply that, you know, the wheels on his feet are actually wheels when they're not. Um, they're just, you know, it's just solid plastic. And, you know, the actual wheels are hidden in his chest pl in his chest piece and then covered by the transformation, you know, to bring his, when they bring his arms forward. And, I mean, and that's why his chest piece has that, that, it has that where it's, it angle where it points down and it doesn't look right, you know, it because his arms are supposed to be coming out of the out of the actual wheel wells because the arms on his for the I'm sorry the wheels on his forearms are actually supposed to be the front wheels they're not supposed to there aren't supposed to be any wheels there when you transform them like kind of pretty much like the you know generations classics jazz figure you know if you if you have that figure you can see how his chest is pointing straight out you know, or the front of the car piece is pointing straight out, whereas on the Jazz figure, it's clearly downward at an angle, and it just, and once again, it, it, it takes away from this figure in a major way. I really wish they would have taken the transformation scheme that they used for the War for Cybertron Bumblebee, I mean, just completely rip that transformation scheme and use it for this Jazz figure. You know, I loved the way that you transformed his legs to make the wheels of the car how you know the foot kind of the foot and like half the uh the shin that shin plate kind of come apart and then flip around to the inner part of the leg and then you know kind of come into place it 
and then it, and then that and then when you push the the lower leg up into the um, thigh, it makes the wheel pop out, and you know it's actually a wheel. It you know it's not it's not faked. You know for the transformation, it it looks proper, and it and it helps add to the fun factor of transforming the figure. If they had if they had used this idea for the fall of Cybertron Jazz figure, it would have really helped make this figure uh, just kick ass and every would have helped it in every aspect of this figure if they had used that transformation scheme. Plus, you wouldn't have because of the shape of his of his alt mode, you wouldn't have that huge backpack like you do with the with the War for Cybertron Bumblebee figure. So I think in essence it would have actually worked better the transformation scheme I'm saying would have worked better on Jazz than it would have worked on Bumblebee. And why they didn't why they didn't just reuse the the transformation scheme is just beyond me. It's it just seems like common sense to me, honestly, because of how their the placement of the vehicle parts on, you know, their their body is like similar you know they both have <clears throat> they both have wheel wells and stuff on their on their forearms and you know the the wheels on their legs are you know just above their feet just would have made sense to use the same transformation scheme all over again and that way you could have had a more accurate looking figure but you know i don't work for hasbro so you know apparently they apparently they just had a brain fart when they made this figure now the other one of the other downsides I I had with this figure was the really oversimplistic transformation. Um, it I know this whole line. It seems like they're trying to make these transformations or the transformation schemes a lot simpler for kids. Um, but I think it kind of takes away from the fun factor of transforming these characters when it's a little too simple. And I think that simplicity also hinders um, the overall look and design of the of the figure when you have to really make things simple to compromise when you have to compromise the look of your figure to make a really simplistic and um, transformation scheme um, I think it takes away from the figure as a whole be the only the only the transformation scheme for Bumblebee wasn't as it's not hard but I think the difficulty of that transforming that figure lied in making sure all the you know the arms and the legs were in just the right position so that when they fit into the tabs everything would click into into place and I feel like if they had used the same scheme for jazz it would have it wouldn't have been as hard as it was for the bumblebee figure and it would have worked out bet just as good because when you transformed them into the vehicle mode you wouldn't have any hinges or any joints showing to take away from you know the the look and feel of the vehicle mode and it I don't know it just seems like a it just seems like it would have been that much better of a figure for it one thing I did notice about the overall height of this figure is it seems like he's more in proportion to the war for Cybertron Optimus than he is with the fall of Cybertron Optimus figure, which that figure is garbage, and I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to do a review on it. But he's actually Jazz is actually taller than that fall of Cybertron Optimus figure, but then he's a little shorter than the War for Cybertron Optimus figure, and he actually kind of looks a little when they're when you put the two together, the two figures together, he actually kind of looks cool. Um, it, but I think that's more so because. I feel like the fall of Cybertron, that fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime figure was really awesome. It just sucks that he was so small in comparison to Bumblebee, but I really love the I really love that figure. I love the design. I love the transformation scheme that they used with him. It it all just that figure just really came together and it's just light years better than the fall of Cybertron Optimus figure. I mean, that figure really sucks. I'm sorry. Sorry, Hasbro, but you failed on that one, man. But anyways, all in all, this figure is, to me, is just an inferior product. Um, it's definitely inferior to the, you know, Generations Classics 
jazz figure. I mean, at least that jazz figure has a bumper that you can, you know, you can actually see and it actually is there. Um, you know, that figure to me is almost it's almost perfect. It's almost the perfect jazz figure. If not for that thing with the chest, how it doesn't lock into place when you transform him, that figure would get a perfect 10 from me. You know, he, I mean, that figure even has a hip swivel, which isn't even necessary to the transformation. It's not there for the transformation. It's just there for articulation purposes. You know, that figure has all the articulation that I like to see, that I would like to see in every Transformer. I know you can't always get it, but this figure was, it was just so well done compared to, you know, the Fall of Cybertron Jazz figure. It's, it just completely, completely eclipses that, that waste of, waste of plastic that the Fall of Cybertron Jazz figure is. So, hopefully, if you, if you've watched this review, you'll see that this is how people should do reviews. They shouldn't, you know, glance over you know inconsistencies or defects in the or just outright you know aesthetically displeasing parts of a figure just for the sake of trying to sound um, neutral or you know sound like you actually are trying to sell a product to somebody you should just be real about it man if it sucks it sucks you know if it's crap then you should say it's crap and you know this is why you know, I'm trying to do reviews now so that, you know, people out there, if you happen to check out the review and you, you know, and you get the real deal and you, you know, you just, you know, just keeping it 100, man. You know, this is why me and my, my, my friend Strident got into doing these reviews because we just got tired of seeing people, you know, gloss over or, you know, say stuff is just okay. You know, I'm, I'm starting to get redundant, so I'm just going to stop and, you know, I'm going to come back with a with another review pretty soon so you know if you like this review just stay tuned i got i got more stuff on the way i'm agent o and uh i'm out of here